What is good? This your guy PA with A1 Custom Beats. Real quick today, I just want to talk to you about three things that will sabotage your music production or career. Three habits, you know, that you might be aware of or might not be aware of that will put you on a hamster wheel uh, as far as uh, your music production. Now, um, the first thing um, I wanted to talk to you about is one thing that you have to realize is that you can't just go straight for the money, especially as an up and coming artist or producer. You know, um, I mentor up and coming artists and producers. And what I'm finding is a lot of people are skipping a lot of steps and you can't skip steps because those steps are there for a reason. And when you follow those steps, you'll find yourself, you know, a lot more successful than just trying to do whatever. See, when I first started producing five years ago, um, I did the same thing, tried to go straight for the money. Now, I've been a professional um, musician for over 25 years. I drum and keyboard. I actively still play for my church. But when I came into producing, there was so much after getting a mentor um, down the road that I did not know. And so when I was trying to figure it out for, my, for myself, you know, that was three years of time wasted that I can't get back. See, one thing about time um, that's way different than money and why it's so more valuable than money is because you can go out and blow you know, money, and it'll replenish, you know, um, depending on when you get paid, how you get paid, but you can get that back. You can't do that with time, you know? So how do you make that time up though? What I did was that I had to, first of all, have a different mindset. I had to shift my mind. You know, I had to put my pride to the side, and see, when you have a mind, when you when, when your mind shifts and it sets to what it is that you're supposed to be doing, I'm telling you, you look at things a whole lot different, which is going to be beneficial to you, you know, for the long term. Now, I end up getting a mentor. Now, remember, I just spent three years trying to figure it out myself. But I got sick and tired of being on that hamster wheel. And so I needed to find somebody that was way up on the pedestal, already doing their thing, um, that can show me the ins and outs. And I spent a year getting mentored. And then a year after that, I was able to become my own boss and do music full time. And so that's how I was able to make that time up. But he showed me, you know, things that a book couldn't tell you or, or, or whatever not. And that's the best way to go. So, um, you know, if you're struggling, if, if, if there's pieces that are missing in your production that, that you can't figure out yet, you know, you can read a book, but it only tell you so much. I would recommend getting either a mentor or, you know, getting these tutorials, you know, that they're making now. You know, if you can't afford, you know, mentor sessions. So, but what I'm saying is that whatever that, whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're an artist or a producer, you have to learn the process through and through. That's the only way that you're going to make consistent money. So if you're skipping steps, don't, um, you know, and, and what I mean by that is like, I see a lot of people online, um, DM me, this and that. A lot of people don't want to talk. They just want to, if they like your music or if they like your beats, they just want to be able to go somewhere and purchase that. So, I mean, you have to have your, uh, you have to have a website. You need an email address. You know, you need um, um, a way to um, advertise when it gets to that point. You need to know how to place and position yourself online so you can you can wake up to five hundred, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. 
You see what I'm saying? When you have all this stuff set up and in place, and that's all part of learning the process through and through. So if you're out there trying to figure it out on your own, and, and it's been a year, two years, three, five, whatever not, I'm telling you, you got to reach out to somebody that's fell on their face multiple times. I fell on my face more times than I can count. But because the love that I have for music, you know, the God-given gift that he put inside me, just like he put in you, you didn't just decide, oh, I just want, I want to do music. Or, no, that was put inside of you. And so now it's time for you to execute. But what I'm finding out is that a lot of <clears throat> up and coming artists or producers, um, they, stand, they, they tend to stick to what they're comfortable with. You see what I'm saying? Like, for example, like when I was getting mentored, big homie Kev was like, uh, man, you got to do uh, so many videos. I'm like, what do you mean video? Like talk in the camera? Like how I'm talking to you? I didn't want to do that. He's like, I didn't either. But man, you know, you got to. So you got to start coming out of your comfort zone. You got to learn the things um, that you're uncomfortable with. You have to learn the things in your music pr production that you don't know. Because them are the things that are blocking you from going to the next level. And, and just remember that you're always... In each level, there's going to be something that you don't know. So don't run from it. Embrace it. Embrace it. So get out of that habit of just sticking in your comfort zone. Because just sticking in your comfort zone is getting you the results that you're getting now. Listen, in order to have the things that you never had, you have to do the things that you have never done. You see what I'm saying? And, and once you put that in your, the forefront of your mind, you know, you'll start seeing stuff a lot different. You'll start executing. And hey, look, so what if you don't get it right the first, the second, the third time? Keep trying, man. Keep pushing. If, if music is what you love to do, you know what I'm saying? Look, there's going to be obstacles, but you got to push through that. And I'm telling you, if you love love music and if you're truly passionate about it, you will get through it. It's those that just do it to, to be doing it or do it because they can get in there and just make a quick buck that end up quickly. But for those like yourself that are truly serious about your music, just keep pushing, man, and just embrace the things, you know, the challenges that come before you instead of running away from them, run towards them. You see what I'm saying? So if you remember these things and if you are doing some of these habits and you weren't aware of it, now you are and now you can adjust. And once you do that and, and stay consistent with it, that's the key. You got to got to stay consistent because if you're not consistent in what you do, it's not going to happen because being consistent, especially online, um, with those that don't know you or haven't built a rapport with you, is truly important because that is like a form of trust. They know they can count on you. They know that on such and such a date, he's going to put a video on YouTube. Or on such and such a date, he's going to have a tutorial well, uh, to show us how to do whatever. Or on such and such a date, you see what I'm saying? So you got to stay consistent with it. Um, again. Um, if there's anything that you're stuck on, if you do need a mentor or if you have someone in mind, man, I'm telling you, reach out to them because they can tell you, you know what I'm saying, exactly what it is that you need to do and how to set your stuff up, which is going to allow you to make up some of that time. Now, if you can't afford a mentor or whatever not. I have tutorials down below for artists and producer for super cheap. I even got um, a beat pack, um, real bangers pack as well. That's down there for artists. Super cheap because I know 
you know, as an up and coming artist, it's tough. Everyone's on a budget and everyone, you know, don't have big money. So I made it affordable for everyone. So that leaves you no excuse. So basically you have two choices. Like if you want to continue to do what you're doing now, now hold up. If you are watching this, but you're getting results, man, hats off to you. But if you're an artist or producer that's struggling, again, like I said, you have two choices. You can continue to keep doing the things that you're doing and getting little or no results. Or you can shift your mindset. And um, you know what I'm saying? And once you shift your mindset, you'll start investing in yourself. You'll start getting tutorials or you'll get a mentor. Or, you know, there is even some books. Um, I mean, shoot, I got all types of books and all this is notes from books and tutorials. You know, it's all about investing in yourself. That's the only way. That's the only way I got to where I'm at right now. And by no means am I bragging whatsoever. I'm just glad that I took a jump, that I leaped off the edge so that my wings can open up and that's what you need to do today so if you're watching this today and you're struggling man look it only gets better but it ain't going to get better by itself you got to make sacrifices you got to put the work in and you have to get rid of the bad habits so if you have any of these habits or if you're not investing in yourself if you're skipping steps if you're not learning the process through and through, <clears throat> switch it around and just take it day by day. Start setting daily goals, which is going to help you week reach your weekly goals, which in turn is going to help you reach your monthly goals. And then you can reach your yearly goals. So with that said, this you got PA for A1 Custom Beats. I hope that helped. And also, please like, share. Um, if you know someone else that may be struggling or just don't know, or that's just, you know, fresh into the um, music production, I'm going to send it to them. But click below. Again, I have um, tutorials for um, artists and producers that I promise will help your music production. Um, and with that said, this is your guy, PA, with A1 Custom Beats. And we'll talk soon. Peace.